Right, well, today's job was fit a shut-off valve on the radiator core feed hose. Uh, so now I can, instead of my heaters constantly blowing hot, I can turn them off and on. But obviously I won't be able to do it from up inside the cab. Um, at the moment that valve is closed. And it's open, and this line runs all the way up, comes down. Uh, it's that one there, comes all the way down, and runs up, up into the heater core. And then this, this is the one where it cycles out, comes back into the bottom of the engine. And <clears throat> the heaters are constantly on hot, which is all right. But when I come to regas my aircon, oh, by the way, I fitted a new high pressure, low pressure switch because that was all rotted out. So now, theoretically, all the, in terms of the air conditioning, it should just need regassing. Um. But it was pointless getting it regassed and then expecting the 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 aircon to blow cold if I couldn't turn the actual heaters down. Uh, and the reason why I've had to fit that why I've had to fit that valve up there is because the butterfly valve that that's connected to the sliders that's on top of the dashboard for the heat controls, the butterfly valve doesn't close. It must be knackered inside so they're constantly blowing hot so I figure probably won't be able to find one of those butterfly valves very easily so why don't I just go ahead and fit a shut off valve on the heater on the on the on the heater core feed itself and it's at the you know it's it's at the rear of the engine so it, you know, if I want the heaters on hot, I can always just pull over, <laughs> climb up on the back, reach up under the cab and just flick the valve, not the valve over. Um, but, you know, I've seen this. This is a standard thing on conventionals. On the, you've got the, on the driving compartment, you've got the dashboard heater controls, but in the sleeper cab itself, there's extra heater controls and those heater controls have got their own heater core which is usually mounted underneath the sleeper and if you roll the hood over on a conventional usually the, f the feed for the, the sleeper heater core will be some rubber hoses just like this coming, coming off from some port somewhere going down into the chassis uh, up to the heater core and usually it's a shut off valve on so it's nothing unusual it's just a bit of a Heath Robinson affair if if like I'm cold, I'm cold in the cab and I want to put the heaters on I shall just have to pull over and flick the valve over so that's that and the other little thing I did was while I got the cab tilted up I decided to cut out this Knackered out, knackered out piece of wire and you can see in several places it's gone through so it's obviously earthing itself out and this is for the pyrometer gauge which in simple language is the exhaust gas temperature we've got this probe or stinger and then that wire was there and I cut it out, rejoined, put, well, put my own wire in, rejoined it, spliced it in, and Bob's your uncle. So, I don't know if that will work, it might need a new stinger, I don't know. But we'll soon find out because my, the pro, polarometer gauge does work, but it always starts off from 3000. So, I don't know whether it's now going to sit at like zero when the engine's on cold. I don't know what it's going to do, so I'll drop the cab down, 
pack my tools away and then go for a drive, see what it does. Right, so before I actually do drop the cab down, I'll just put the heaters on cold. That's hot, that's cold. That's half and half, that's hot, half and half, lukewarm, cold. <laughs> right, that's it, drop the cab down. So now all I've got to do is put all the coolant back in. And the stirrup pump that I had worked for a while and then it, it seemed to disintegrate itself. So whether or not you didn't like the chemicals in the antifreeze or I don't know, but it seems to have just melted. So that idea didn't work. So I'll have to go back to pouring it in by hand. All done. Put the cap on then. Before I forget. <laughs> 